you know, people out there are gonna tell you size doesn't matter. <laughs> I've learned the opposite. Size really does matter. And that's the secret of making a really great 3D game. More importantly, doing it fast. And the way you do that is think about scale. How big should your textures be? How big should your character controller be? How big should the assets be? These are the most world craziest questions that only people like me can find out the answers to. When you don't know, suddenly you're just throwing a bunch of crap into your game and scaling it sort of guess and check. And then ultimately you find out that you're insane by the end of your game's development and then you've just quit your game. So how big is your character controller? I say he should be twice as tall as a standard Unity box. Hi, Jimmy. Do you want to be Fred? Don't talk to my best buddy. And by the way, guys, we're gonna use this free character controller here. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. There he is. Bing! So we'll, we'll just import this into Unity, okay? He's totally free. All right, so now we know how big your character controller is. We've got that set. How big should your textures be? Well, by the way, you want your textures to have a standard size because it makes things, well, no pun intended, Scalable. Basically, you want your game to be scalable. You want it to be extendable. Like you, you want to be able to build a, a big game fast with reusable textures and reusable assets. So we're going to create a bunch of reusable textures with the same pixel size. Okay. Now I don't care how big you make your textures. I really don't. You can make them as big as your dad. Whoa. As big. <laughs> you can make them as big as you want. And the thing is, um. I'm gonna do 2048 by 2048, and if that's too big, we can scale it down in Unity. And we're gonna save these as PSDs. The beauty of Unity is you can import a PSD, and it's basically going to convert it to a PNG on the fly in Unity. And for the love of God, stop importing your stuff, okay? Just save it into the folder, and, and it'll import automatically. Okay, so we've got our textures here. I've made these from scratch. Not all of us are, are brilliant artists like me, but, and then we're also gonna go to the Unity Asset Store and we're gonna find some 3D models and do this fast, okay? Okay, so we're using our cube here as our ruler, per se. It looks like we've gotten lucky here and our assets we just downloaded are basically the right size. Let's just make them all 90% of their original size. Let's do a battery size here. That looks great. Now they work with our cube. All right, so we've basically got all of our building blocks. Now it's basically just playing Minecraft. Let's go ahead and import Pro Builder. Pro Builder is basically Blender, but it sucks. We're gonna use the po we're gonna use the Poly Shape tool. Click 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 click. And we've got this really cool map. We're gonna extrude up by like I don't know 16 units, and then we're gonna make sure we invert them normals. Inverting a normal is when you basically invert a wall. So now it's facing the inside. If I hit play here, I can run around and I've got a pretty cool level already. Let's go ahead and select the faces and start dragging in our new textures. Be sure you create materials out of these new textures. And now we can create our floors and our ceilings and our walls, create some variation here, add some loop cuts. And this is basically just selecting various edges and adding more cuts to our mesh and let's position those appropriately. And now we've got this beautiful interior, okay? Now we can just drag in our prefabs, right? And we can add some point lights and just adjust those, the intensity and the range and the color and hit play. With some music and some ambience, this thing's pretty spooky and it really didn't take long at all. And I want you guys to know that, honestly, in all sincerity, I want you guys to be as successful as, well, I want you to be almost as successful as me. And one of the things that I've learned is that you, uh, you don't have to take yourself so seriously and you don't have to take everybody's opinion so seriously. And you don't need to feel stupid or small. Making games nowadays is pretty easy. All right, click like, click subscribe. Let's